that we're gonna be moving up here, and we're gonna enter uh, something new. A teleport room, as you'll see. Fortunately, because I've been playing Order of Ecclesia, I thought you couldn't go through the teleport room, when in fact, you can, so... There's that, I'll get to that later in the video, once we make our return trip. Ah, uh, but damn it, you'll get yours! More electric skeleton. Now check this out. Freeze this guy, jump on his head, and look at this. Just look at this, look at this uh, idiot, this fucker right here. Bam. Dead. Goddamn electric skeletons. It's goddamn skeletons all the time. Can't stand them. More MP. Yeah, there's a big hole right up there, as you can tell. Um, we'll be, we'll be, be, we'll be back there later. And here's just a long hallway of axe towers and axe towers, axe armors and devil towers. Uh, we're just gonna move on right along through here pretty quick. Uh, armors are pretty cool. They're a whole family of enemies. So you've got, you know, like your flame armor, your ice armor, your axe armor. Um, and they're pretty cool, like I said. I, I love the fact that it's just a super of armor walking around just fucking everybody up, man. And the, uh, the Devil Tower shoot little pebbles out. I loved them as a kid, I don't know why, I guess because, uh, yeah, they crumble like that. It's a pretty neat effect. The backgrounds are kind of bland in here, but the music is really good. Um, I think they take it on just a little too long, though. They don't, uh, you know, mix it up a little bit, so you get this bass going da 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 And, um, it gets a little annoying. But, uh... One thing um, that some people have mentioned to me is that the game has dark graphics when you're playing back on the GBA, not the uh, SP, and you couldn't see anything, and that is the truest thing. It is the biggest criticism for this game, beyond its crazy difficulty. You, you, can't, you couldn't see anything just because of the dark graphics. You can see stuff now, thank god, because we're playing on the emulator, but... Back then, you couldn't see anything, and I always remember it was like a little challenge. I had to, had to find the perfect lighting because you know, too little you can't see anything, and too much you can't see anything. So you're walking around, and we've got some roofs in my house, which is basically a window while I'm on top of the roof, and let sun in. So there's this beam of light coming down. I'm following it, going all around the couch, uh, be on the couch one moment, in a chair the next, and then on the floor. So there's that. Now there's some, uh, there's a pretty cool background right there. I don't know why it reminds me of the Roman Colosseum. But right here, I, uh, do a little cut and switch to our Mercury plus Salamander combo right there. And we enter the boss room anyways. Got a little bit of text right here, which is kind of odd. Since a lot of the bosses won't have the Actually, only two bosses in the game have text, excluding the final one, of course. But, uh, yeah, the Necromancer's kind of a dick to Nathan. He's like, he's all smug, like, we got our, your old man, we're gonna, we're gonna use him to revive Dracula. And Nathan's like, oh no, that's not happening. So we enter the Necromancer boss fight. It's a pretty fun one. Um, not the best in the game, but it's still difficult. He's got these, uh, six orbs right here, he flings them around and such, and you just whip him with your whip. But he's got this one move, where he summons, uh, zombies, and this is where you wreck him. This is where you take him down with your cross. The zombies right there. They go away on their own, but, you know, if you want a little extra XP, well, just slide on through. Alright, and I believe he's about to summon again, and this is where we take him down. But the Dwellist music is still going, meaning he's got a second form, and it's a demonic skeleton flying thing. And uh, he's got a new uh, trick up his sleeve, you'll see in a little bit. Right now, he's just going to be summoning a whole lot, which is where I got a lot of the damage off of him. You see, three times in a row. He goes back and forth between that and his other attack, the giant green ball of death. It is uh, very, very frustrating, because it's random how much he does each, and you can't hurt him when he is in this ball, so you gotta dodge. 
So it's a good idea to take uh, opportunity, take your opportunity when he does that, and whip him to death. Unfortunately, I do a very bad job of that, but I take him down nonetheless with another double level up. Like I said, best feeling ever. There's your stats right there, and let's go collect a reward. But first, a little bit of text. Yes, where is Hugh? Well, you'll find out in the next video. While we collect the tackle. Our second, no, excuse me, third relic. And that lets us break some blocks. And let's just show off what it does right here. I really like it. You go, roll. Like you're some uh, sort of secret agent or something, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, we're going back right now, and we're just going to be using one of the shortcuts to get back. Um, like I said, I didn't show it off before, the teleport room, so that's what we're going to be using. Also, bro block breaking, for those who want to see it, it's pretty cool. Not the greatest thing in the world, but you know, it's there. Anyways, we enter this yellow door. It is really, really weird sound effect. I, I don't know what's up with that, but, uh... Anyways, he broke in this barrier right here, so now we can go back and forth whenever we want, but that's about all the time there is for this video. Um, I'm Bright Roar, and I will see you back in the Machine Tower next time. See you then.